Hi everyone, it's Veronica, and in this video I'll show you how to create an animated hover effect on a button, like this one, and also how to create an animated menu effect, like this one. So let's get started. Back in edit mode here in Storyline, we have a button that is a simple oval shape created natively in Storyline. It has a down state and a hover state. Let's click edit states and take a look at the hover state. In the hover state, there is another oval shape, a bit darker than the original button shape. This oval has a half a second entrance fade animation. And the plus icon in the hover state has a 0.25 spin entrance animation. That's all you need to do to create this hover effect. To create the animated menu effect, we need to complete a few steps. Create a layer for all the menu items like this one. On the base layer, create a trigger to show layer menu open when the user clicks button menu. And the menu animation effects happen here on the menu open layer. Let's take a look at how this layer is set up. The layer is only 1.5 seconds long. The menu buttons are all different lengths and they all end at 1.25 seconds on the timeline. Each of these menu items, the three buttons and the background, have an entrance and an exit animation applied. The menu buttons have a very short 0.1 second float in entrance animation and a 0.25 float out exit animation. And that's what produces the effect of coming in and then coming back down again. The triggers to make this menu work are as follows. First, the timeline will pause when it reaches 0.75 seconds, right at this point, once all of these objects have entered the slide. Second, the layer timeline will resume when the user clicks outside of any of the objects on this layer, including these other buttons. And third, this layer is going to hide when the timeline finishes. You can tick that option on the layer properties window right here. So the objects come in, the layer pauses here, and it stays paused until the learner clicks one of the menu buttons, which would take them to the relevant slide, or clicks outside any of the objects on the layer, which would resume the timeline on the layer. When the timeline resumes, the menu items will execute their exit animations, then when the timeline reaches 1.5 seconds it will automatically hide and this is timed so that the objects float out nicely before the layer hides. So we click the menu button and the menu animates in and we click outside any of these menu items and the menu animates out. I hope this was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.